So, boys and girls out there, I'm going to do something a little different this time. I know I got a lot of drama and bullshit to talk about, but I won't. So, um, I just made a new beat a few minutes ago. And I want to see if I can, good, put it like this. When you're doing videos and you got sound going through a, a mixer, like a microphone and music, and it's going directly into the, the camera or the line in port, sound comes out different when you're playing sound in a room and microphones pick it up in the room uh, there's a total different sound now when you're playing a beat on a laptop and the microphone is built into the laptop you know what I mean you might have that weird telephony type sound going on but you might just hear sound muffled it's not gonna sound 100% when you do it like that, um, I have no time to go hook up a bunch of other shit. So I'm gonna see what this beat sound like. Like this, I've tested it a couple of times. It, you know, I had to turn the hand clap down because it sounded like somebody's hitting the side of a, a beer kit bottle. Ding, ding. And, you know, and it had a weird reverberation type echo, but you can still hear my voice. So let's see what this sounds like if I was just to talk some shit with it. Let's go. Oh, let me see. Just find somebody else's video. I saw some shit about Willie Pete and uh, what's the dude name? Um, somebody else non-important. Um, and I was wondering what the hell would Soul and Black do if he was in that situation? Let me see if I can find that video because the computer hasn't been on since last night. Oh, so I can't go back. I'm gonna turn my shit on. Firefox. I got two windows up here, both on my page. Let me just find a video. I need to just find a video because I'm running out of time. Aha! I got one right here. Let's see. Let's see what this sound like. You ready, Jay? Hey, buddy. I'm back. Um. Oh yeah. I forgot to show y'all one more. The Remy Ma Cotton. Actually, that's in here now. I'm back with my girl Tina T. Say what's up. Hi, people. Tina. I heard y'all been asking about me. What's up? Yeah, she's been on her little break lately. Here you go. Uh, but anyway, this video is about being a follower. It's precisely about grown men following little boys. Um, you know, we all know about the Sergeant Willie Captain Solo for y'all, so. Captain Solo is man. And, you know, we all wish Captain Solo would have, um, luck with his um, recovery from having been um, ran up in a snake known as Sergeant Wilson Pete. Yeah. Um, but well, these are the things you've been trying to tell people the whole time, Jay. Yeah. But now it's finally come to surface, and I think people can kind of see that for what it is, too, too. Um, exactly. Yeah, Sergeant Willie Pete bit his own friend in the back. You know, and, and people need to realize, like I said, I was. Sergeant cool. Willie Pete, he likes white women. Well, some some of the things that Tina says I don't like, but some of the shit she says I do like. I don't personally think that just because you want a white woman, you want a weak woman. Not all women are weak, but um, just like the white dude on the the show was generalizing a uh, black woman, he'd rather have a light skinned one than a you know. I heard that show last night, and I'm like. <laughs> That's why Sergeant Willie Pete would never call me on the phone when I had a phone for him to call. That's why when you debate with some of these guys, they're all hooks. They're doing this at a group level. You know what I mean? You think they're friends or they made friends somewhere. They probably go to the same college together. But other than that, you know, hey, I'm cool. Let's listen some more. Yeah, that's one of the weak bits that you can control. 
and do what you want to do, and she sits home like a fucking snow bunny that she fucking is. I believe he's white anyway. I believe Sergeant Willie Pitt. I don't understand. But my question is, why do you think Captain Solo was so close to him? I think Captain Solo was so close to him because personally, minds minds are like think alike. If, if somebody says something that you know you can relate to, and if they say enough of this, then you start talking. And once you start talking, and they start talking, there will be no differential because you're talking about the same things constantly. That's what I think. Why do I think he was so close to him? Probably a downhole brother, because to be taken up to a nigga like that, it's gotta be on some personal type shit. You're not gonna go off like that for somebody that you don't really know. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I heard uh, the trash man talking about Download Brothers and the video uh, that he did with the one chick. Uh, you know, his, his interview. It was broken down a whole bunch of pieces, and I got that knowledge from. Uh, JW Fo. So going back, Tina, what was you talking about? Well, I'm sorry, what did you say? Like, you know, going all over the extreme and shit like that, and you don't really know them. So my eyes is like, look, yeah, I must have some personal ties or something. I was trying you know? to I mean, like, like Captain Solo used to play both sides of the fence. You know what I'm saying? Like, Captain right, was a right. dude. You know, but that both sides of the fence shit ain't what's up. Well, you well, know, you know, um, um, Captain Solo, I've seen like two solo videos, and to be honest with you, I thought Captain Solo was soul and black. You know how people have more than one identity on this thing. So, when I heard they had a falling out, I keep on looking at it in Jay's face like, so when they had a falling out, it's like, to me, I'm thinking, damn, what is uh, soul and black going to do now? There's two boys, is, is that... I haven't seen no soul in black reply to none of this situation. It's unfortunate now that it happened with the Southern Wolf. They think that now y'all, y'all ain't friends anymore. You know? But I guess everybody has their lesson to learn in life when they, you know, take stances on things that ultimately end up turning out to be stupid. Yeah. Um, your, your best friend was on here fighting too. See, I don't know if you found, um, knew of it, but bitter. Yeah. Yeah, Vitter's still up here fighting. So um, oh, he just fight for Lord for peace, you know? Still ain't seen that son. A <laughs> son that he's never gonna see. He said he got married to some other chick on here. I don't, I don't know what's up with Vitter. Vitter, yeah, I'm Every time you want to find internet love, I think it's something missing in your real life. Because when you want to find somebody... And love somebody that's online. Obviously, something is lacking in real life where you. Yeah, something lacking. Gotta go online and find a. To me, that's an imaginary female or man. Like, why can't you go and within your community with somebody that you know and find somebody to love? I find somebody to hook up with. You gotta. Yeah, people gotta go get it where they be at the most. I'm sorry if I'm single. If I was single, can I find a sugar mama online? What do you think? Think I can find a sugar mama? Online, these strangers, you don't know if they pedophiles, you got kids, you don't know if he's an abuser, you don't know if she's a slut, you don't know what the fuck is going on. I just want a sugar mama. I need a sugar mama. Find marriage and find all this shit. It's something that you done done in your real life. Nobody's fucking with you within your town. But Bitter, I mean, he he fucked Kelly up. He fucked his wife up. That's what I'm saying. Well, whoever he married online, he better get ready to find that police report because find the police. Send him ten dollars, some can buy can be in that house. 
I gotta cut this video short, but I wanted to see if this test worked. Thanks to the people over at the J Rider Spots. Tina and all y'all. Love y'all.